Turning to local races, Roanoke's local races showed unexpected results and potential historic firsts, setting the stage for political for potential shifts in city politics. WDBJ 7's Taylor Locke joins us in studio this morning with a breakdown of the outcome. More numbers to share this morning, Taylor. Yeah, absolutely. And they just keep on rolling in. But it was a surprising race between three candidates and one that is coming down to the wire. But after a turn of events, former mayor David Bowers took a narrow lead in the Roanoke mayoral race. In what he called an excruciating and slow election, Republican David Bowers held a 19 vote lead over Democrat Joe Cobb. That's as of Wednesday morning. I think people want a change. I think they were fed up with what was going on at Roanoke City Council and they wanted a change. And um, there were two candidates that were going to promote a change, I think. And I was the one that came out with 19 votes. 19 angels fell out of heaven. Last week, a Roanoke College poll found Cobb was leading the race by double digits against Bowers and City Councilwoman Stephanie Moon Reynolds. But with provisional ballots still to be counted, Cobb says it's too close to call and would support a recount. I think it's important that we have a competitive race for the mayor of the city. It's such a critical role. Um, but again, I'm really proud of the campaign we've run and really uh, proud of Roanoke for turning out to, to vote. As the race has yet to be called, the three candidates have high respect for one another. Uh, I want to thank uh, and commend David uh, Bowers and Stephanie Moon Reynolds for running really good campaigns this year. And I honor uh, Joe and Stephanie. We are fierce competitors, but we are professional colleagues. As far as Moon Reynolds, she walks away Tuesday with nearly 10,000 votes. Bowers would be the first Republican mayor since Ralph Smith, who won in 2000 in a narrow race as well. Now, since this race is so close, there may be recounts. Now, under Virginia state law, recounts can be triggered if the margin between the candidates is less than 1% of the total votes cast. Now, which Bar Barrows says that if that does happen, he is confident that he will prevail. Kimberly. And Taylor, we know that you're going to be keeping an eye on these results as they continue coming in. All right, we appreciate that update this morning. Thank you.